Hey, Max Leeds. What are the five factors that affect body composition? Number one, daily non-exercise activity. Remember, you have a whole nother life outside of the gym. So for example, are you a person that works sitting in front of the computer typing all day? Or are you a person that you know picks up a lot of items and carries them? Do you do a lot of walking or do you do a lot of sitting and standing and waiting? All of those things will definitely affect your body composition. Number two, pretty sure this one's obvious, exercise. Exercise is one of the biggest parts of fitness. I really don't need to go into the details of that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You exercise, it helps you to gain weight or lose weight depending on the type of regimen that you are following. Number three, this is also one that's a dead giveaway, but let's just talk about it anyway. Nutrition. What you put into your body directly affects your body composition. It also will affect whether or not you gain weight or lose weight at a certain rate. So the timing of your food in combination with the actual types of food that you bring into your body will definitely affect that. Number four, your sleep-wake cycle. Now this one is very, very important because depending on the type of cycle you have, your hormones may be affected based on how much or how little sleep you get. Now there are some studies out there that show that people can sleep for as little as two hours or as little as 20 minutes and still be able to function very normally. And that's great if you're able to do that, but I also know that there is a very strict regimen that you need to follow under those conditions. And if anything is out of place, then the whole system gets messed up. So if you are one of those people that does follow that type of regimen, you wanna make sure that you're very clear about what the conditions of that regimen are for it to be successful. Otherwise, if you're a person that has very little sleep, definitely that's gonna affect your metabolism and also affect the hormones and all in all affect your body composition. Number five, stress management. This one gets overlooked by so many people. They'll say, I don't know what's going on. I'm eating right, everything is okay. And then you find out more what's going on with their life and you realize, oh, they just lost their job or, you know, oh, they got demoted or, oh, they just broke up with someone. They're under high stress, but they're not talking about it. They're either keeping it bottled in or they're just not managing it properly. So what happens? Your stress levels go up, which means your cortisol levels go up, which means your hormones are also affected. And for some people, when they're highly stressed, they gain weight. And for other people, when they're highly stressed, they lose lots of weight. So it really just depends on your genetics and also how you treat stress. So those are the five factors that you have to look out for. Daily non-exercise activity, exercise activity, nutrition intake, sleep-wake cycle, and last but not least, stress management. If any of these are out of whack, they can easily affect your body composition. Also remember, very, very important fact, working really, really hard on one of them doesn't cancel out the others. Remember, your body is very, very unique to you, so there are certain things that you may be very, very sensitive to. For example, you may be very, very sensitive to stress management, even though you're working really, really hard, working eight days a week at the gym. Not gonna do anything, and yes, I said eight days. It's not gonna make a difference. You wanna make sure that you're managing all five of those factors so that everything is in sync and you're able to work towards your fitness goals. Thanks guys for listening. If you have any questions, please hit me in the comment section below. And until next time, you max your life.